Well, I guess we get uh, the whole decision actually at uh, 1.45 Central European time because with the press conference and the statement first, we will get the wording that, that matters. And then we get more, more details from Christine Lagarde at 2.30. Essentially, uh, the ECB has a long history of striking compromises between the Oaks and the Doves, and I think today will be no different. We might have something around the lines of keeping a higher base of PEP purchases into uh, Q3, so that won't be significantly higher as in Q2, but still higher than the average. Uh, that would be for the compromise. And I think uh, along the lines also of what Isabel Schnabel said at the executive board, the ECB will be keen on uh, to keep the flexibility of the program around the summer. And in August in particular, we know that uh, bond supply is lower, that asset purchases tend to be lower. So that would make, uh, in the end, for a, a modest or, or slight slowdown from the pace of 80 billion a month that we recorded in Q2. Was it a mistake for the ECB to be so prescriptive about accelerating the PEP, uh, PEP buying, given that it turns out that decision was adopted when we were really at peak pandemic fear? And since then, the economic and health situation has improved. Let's say it added a bit of unnecessary, uh, complicating, complicated decision to, to be made when the broad picture is actually quite clear. The ECB is committed to keeping uh, pet purchases as long as needed, and we even have more tools uh, to consider once the PEP uh, it will be phased out. I think the key really today is to give a hint at what the ECB, uh, well, whether the ECB starts to think about thinking about tapering, but the actual taper, not the small reduction that we expect in the pace of purchases. That means whether or not the envelope of uh, 1,850 uh, billion euros should be increased or reduced. I think it will be kept uh, unchanged. And whether the flexibility also of the program beyond the summer months can be, can be maintained. Because if there is a mistake in my mind, it was to uh, make this review a quarterly review along with uh, the staff projection. So that means for markets a bit less uh, perhaps effectiveness of the program in between quarterly meetings, if and when something happens and the ECB has to uh, respond. Fred, earlier on you said that you expect the ECB maybe to announce that they're going to continue buying at a higher pace but not a significantly higher. So there's some granularity there. Is there any way they can reduce the pace of pet purchases but not send a hawkish signal to the market? Yeah, I think essentially that's the, the goal today to uh, uh, engineer some sort of dovish taper. Again, I don't think that's an actual taper. The taper will come. The taper decision will come, in my opinion, in September and how to deal with the phasing out of PEP by March 2022. If you just remove the significantly uh, from the statement, that's something the market will immediately understand at uh, 145 with the press statement. And then you can comment on the seasonal factors, on the flexibility, uh, and perhaps more importantly, on the ECB reaction function.